हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन सेज इन फिगर ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर जीरो पॉइंट पी वन इज एट डिस्टेंस आर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर ऑन द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ अ स्ट्रेट वायर ऑफ लेंथ एल इज इक्वल टू एटीन सेंटीमीटर कैरिंग करंट आई इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट टू नोट दैट वायर इज नॉट लॉ वट आर द A magnitude and B direction of the magnetic field at P1 due to I. C if R is increased, what happens to the magnitude of field? Figure 29.40 is given to us. Now to understand this question, we must first understand the key concept which which I am going to tell you right now. Now here we revise our key concept. so the key concept behind this question is magnet magnitude of magnetic field at a point at a some distance from a straight wire so let's suppose we have a straight wire let's change the color of our pen so let's suppose we have a straight wire and a current is flowing in it now by right hand thumb rule we can give that the direction of magnetic field will be like this right hand thumb rule says that when the thumb of the right hand is in the direction of current then the curl of the finger shows us uh, the direction of magnetic field and let's suppose uh, this was for direction of magnetic field now let's check uh, the magnitude of and the magnetic field at a point let's suppose p which a, which is at a distance d from the wire let's say this angle is alpha and this angle is let's say beta so the magnitude of magnetic field b is equal to mu not i here i is current uh, which is flowing through the wire upon 4 pi d into sin alpha plus sin beta so this is the formula for magnetic field at a point at some distance from a straight wire now we have everything prerequisite for our solution and let's jump into our solution part so for solution part what do we have we have b is equal to mu not into i upon 4 pi d into sin alpha plus sin beta so we need the angle beta and alpha to calculate it further so let's draw a diagram for our question so in our question we are given with a straight line there is a point p1 at distance r which is given to us r is given to us as 24 cm and this is a perpendicular bisector so this side will be equal to this side and hence from here we can say that alpha will be equal to beta and the length of whole wire is 18 cm so each of the side will be 9 cm each so this is 9 cm now we have a right angle triangle with side 24 and 9 we have to find this angle so we can find it by the relation 10 alpha will be equal to 10 beta will be equal to 9 over 24 will be equal to 3 over 8 now from here we can find the value of sin alpha so sin alpha will be equal to 3 upon square root of 64 plus 9 will be equal to 3 upon square root of 73 now we have all the values so let's put them together to find the magnitude of b so next part we have b is equal to mu not upon 4 pi comes out to be equal to 10 to the power minus 
okay so mu naught upon 4 pi we have put it uh, 10 to the power minus 7 what is the value of i i is given to us as 58.2 milliampere so it will be equal to 58.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere and the value of d what do we have d we have uh, 24 centimeters so it will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter and sine alpha plus sine beta will be equal to 2 into sorry this will be multiplication sign 2 into 3 over root 73 so this will be the value of b so from here solving this we get the value of b is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 9 tesla so this is the magnitude of b which we were asked to find in part a of our question now in part b we are asked uh, the direction of magnet magnetic field at p1 so we redraw the diagram we have a wire here in which current is going downwards and p1 point comes out to be here okay if we uh, rotate it this side now what do we have we have the magnetic field will be going from right hand thumb rule magnetic field will be going in this side it will be going inside and in this side it will be coming outside so at p1 the direction of magnetic field will be outside the plane of paper and in the third part what is asked if r is increased what happens to the magnetic field so uh, we can uh, see here in this formula here capital r is our small d so we know that b is inversely proportional to r and hence if r is increased then b will automatically decrease so these are all the answers of this solution i hope you understood it well thank you